So for today, we're going to be looking at Graviton Forfeit. If you guys don't know, we brought back the exotic videos. I do have to explain a few things first and foremost. Uh, I do apologize if I'm a little low, but it's currently one o'clock in the morning and my girlfriend's currently sleeping. So I have to remake this video because somehow the other one got corrupt. But this is going to be super fast because it, this exotic only has one ornament and I really don't have to talk too much about this one. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe, I really do appreciate it. Other than that, Vanishing Shadow increases the duration of any invisibility effects while you are invisible. Your melee recharges faster, your weapons reload faster, and your recovery is greatly increased. So this one's pretty much self-explanatory. You gain more invisibility, which means I think it's like an extra three to four seconds. Um, what's really cool is the melee recharges faster, your weapons reload faster, and your recovery is greatly increased. Let me pick at it real quick. Melee recharges faster is really, really good because most of the time people are going to be using the vanishing bomb which is really useful especially with graviton forfeit so that's why people are going to be using uh gonna like the melee recharges faster your weapons reload faster is cool um i definitely would have preferred something else but i'll take it and the recovery is greatly increased i would like to know how much it is i just don't know off the top of my head currently if you guys know let me know in the comments below but if it's something like substantial like five to like six then at that point you could probably drop down your recovery to like two or three and like to to get the minimum of seven because i think seven is like the best spot you can be if you want to retain that fast recovery uh but also want to put your stats and other stuff so for me i would probably put it at two so that way when i'm invisible usually when i go invisible that's my oh, oh shit button so i would actually go invisible and then my, my healing would come in that being said you will have to preemptively kind of like realize oh this is too much damage i gotta i gotta back out because if you do it when you you're low health most of the time a few more shots are going to kill you so you have to be really really careful um so yeah if depending how much recovery you get went while invisible is how much i would put my recovery down to it's like so like again if it's five or six then i would pr put it down to like two because again, seven for me is like the golden spot, especially if you want to put in other stuff like mobility, um, resilience, other stuff like that. So pretty cool stuff. As for how it actually looks, I think it looks really cool. It's very iconic. At least personally, I think it's like one of the most iconic helmets for hunters. We do have quite a few. I think like Celestial Nighthawk is a really good one as well. Knuckleheaded Radar, those three, I think really carried hunter images in Destiny 1. So. For me, those two helmets are just like super duper iconic. Um, this one is no different. The only thing that really bugs me about this is the fact that it shaders really, really terribly. I'm not gonna point to any specific shader because you guys will notice it, but each shader takes it, each shader takes, or the helmet takes shaders really terribly. Um, there's a lot of like discoloration and kind of like the metal has been fucked up and I'm not the biggest fan of it personally. That being said, there is certain shaders that will actually fix that. And you just have to really just go through each shader and pick which one you want. Uh, for the example set, I actually did use a shader. We'll, might as well just get into it. For the example set, Arable's Glance does a great job at just combining everything into a, a solid black. And for this one, I ended up going for a tactical look just because um, I really like tactical looks. It's one of my favorite looks in the game, especially for hunters. And for this one, we're going to be using Crystal Cream Grips for the arms because the, uh, there's other ones you can use specifically the diamonds born grips you can you can definitely use that one you just have to be aware that the plate um the shoulder plates actually take the off color so that's why i never really used it uh and crystal cream grips is really good because a it gives my hunter a more smaller silhouette because the dinos born piece it actually bulks out the hunter quite a bit and i didn't want that and the other thing is, again, the shadering. I wanted this to be an all black with a hint of purple for the helmet and the cloak. And for that one, we use Refined Revels instead because Aerobos Glance actually has um, a different color for the back of it. And that's pretty much it for all of the shaders that I've seen, except for Refined Revels, which is why I'm using that shader. And you definitely should have picked it up because I did make a video on it. I think I did actually, pretty sure I did. Um, Arable's Glance for Deep Explorer Vest and Moonfang X7 Strides just because those two pair really well and it turns it all black which is exactly what I wanted. And then for the Cloak, Psionic Stalker Cloak is what I'm using because I wanted some purple to highlight the helmet as well. So 
I know people are going to be like, oh, a bla all black hunter look so original. I mean, like, honestly, eat my ass. I don't really care. Um, this is just for me. Like, I really like this style. Obviously, I can do a colored looks. I've done it multiple times. But for me, I just wanted like this to be a tactical hunter where in my head cannon, I guess you would say, where the purple is when he's about to kill someone, the purple comes out and that's kind of like his calling card, I guess you would say. So that's really it for the first one. Let me know what you guys think about it. As for the ornament, it's called Regal Crossroads. This one is really cool because it is kind of like the opposite effect of the original helmet where there is still fire in there, but it's like covered by the visor, which I think is really, really cool. My biggest gripe about it is that the shadering is like a fine. It's nothing too crazy. Um, again, I personally really wish they gave us the option to turn off like the color. So like, for example, for this one specifically, that purple glow, I wish we could either have it purple or have glows change the color of it. Like, like a toggle would be super cool because at that point we have much more freedom. Um, not saying I'm like really mad about it because I'll still use it, but again, it is what it is again for shadering i think it shaders really well the only thing that's really annoying is the like weird things in the front you can see with echo anger the white pieces i'm not the biggest fan of that other than that i think this helmet is super dope uh for shadering like i said i think it shaders fine it's just that the glow is just kind of bugs me and that doesn't it's not just for this ornament it's for everything i wish we can we had the option to actually change colors but we don't, unfortunately. As for the example set, this one I ended up, it, this is more of like a remix of a set that I made before. If I have the video, I'll have it up right now, but it's definitely really cool because it gives me like SRL looks. And if you guys don't know SRL, it stands for Sparrow Racing League. And that's exactly what it sounds like. You used to have racing in Destiny 1 where you would race within like maps in venus uh mars different stuff like that and it was really really cool i really miss srl and i definitely think srl can be a staple in destiny 2 it's just that we can't have nice things uh for the actual set itself regal cross orders obviously what we're using lux sleeves for the arms heart and basilisk for the vest chromia strides for the boots and then Ren renegade hood so my, my again like i said this is like an srl inspired look so for me, I wanted minimal armor, which is why the chest piece only has that one chest piece, like uh, armor piece. The boots only have it from the knee down and then the arms have the whole thing. But I feel like the reason I'm using those arms is specifically because it has a hundred insignia. And I feel like that's kind of important when, again, in the head cannon, you're racing and people who are like racing, you, they will see your insignia on your arm. So that's why I went with that. And then Renegade Hood because I didn't want a cloak, like a traditional cloak, so that's why I'm using this instead. If I had the option, I would turn off the hood because that then it would be even better. But for the shading, I do have to talk about the shading. Imperial Dress is what I'm using for 90% of the whole thing. And then Imperial Opulence for the cloak. That The reason because Imperial Dress turns cloth into yellow, which is I didn't want that. And Imperial Opulence turn, it's like, it's like the reverse. So... Uh, Imperial dress will turn armor pieces into purple and cloth into yellow. And then Imperial uh, Opulence does the reverse of that. So that's why you will always see me use more of the Imperial dress and then Imperial Opulence than the reverse because I'm, I'm not the biggest fan of the orange that it gives out. So let me know what you guys think. I appreciate you guys. That's pretty much it. Again, like I said, it only has one ornament and I'm trying to get this video out as fast as I can because it is currently one o'clock in the morning. And I literally go to LA tomorrow. So by the time you guys are watching this video, I will probably be already back home working on videos for the next season. So let me know what you guys think. I pr appreciate you guys coming up to this point. Uh, I haven't done this in a bit. So for this video, comment down Imperial Dress so that way I can know you guys got up to this point. But again, if you guys want to see any exotics, any armor pieces, literally anything, just let me know and I'll definitely try to get started on it. So be safe and I'll see you guys later.